G'day folks, quick question for you. Should you use a magnet to mount a torch to your rifle barrel? Well, if you said no, you probably subscribe to the theory that any interference with the barrel is gonna affect its accuracy. And if you tell that to somebody who's got a full wood rifle or one with a barrel band, they're probably gonna go and tell you to stick your conspiracy theories where your foil hat can't protect them. And no one ever knocked the accuracy of the SMLE, did they? Well, we're gonna try the theory out. We're gonna put it to the test today. Simple way to do it, we're gonna take two sporter weight rifles, we're gonna use a magnetic torch, mount it onto the barrel, and see if it affects their accuracy. The theory is that any interference with the barrel is gonna change its harmonics, which is gonna affect its accuracy. The first test is gonna be with a CZ in 2 to 3 It's a nice sporter weight rifle, and it shoots pretty good groups. The first group, Gives us a good starting point and is pretty typical for this rifle. Yes, I know it could be re-zeroed. We're aiming at the center ball for all of these groups, but the crucial thing here is that we get consistent groups. So now we'll try it again with a torch mounted magnetically to the barrel and see what happens to the group. First shot goes way low and off to the right. But then after that, the following shots give us a pretty similar group to what we got in the first place. It's fractionally larger, not enough to really worry us, but the big point is that the central point of impact of these groups has shifted dramatically. So we haven't really lost accuracy as such, we've just changed where the group's going. Now obviously there's been an effect on the harmonics of the barrel, not enough to really throw its accuracy away, but enough to mean you might have to recite if you're gonna shoot with something mounted to the barrel like this. Now let's double check this by using another rifle. We'll cut to the chase, we won't show all the shots, it's a ticker T3 and 223, and the first group was a nice tight, typical group for this rifle of about one MOA. The second group, it's a smaller change than the CZ showed, but the same basic result. Accuracy is barely affected, but the point of impact is. Admittedly, this test is not a big scientific one. It's just simply two rifles to give you an indication of what can happen if you mount a torch to your barrel. What I'd suggest is that if you're gonna do this, at least check it before you go hunting to see what the effect is gonna be on your rifle, because it'll probably vary from rifle to rifle as we saw with these two. Now, if we get a chance, we'll try this on some heavy barreled rifles, see how much they're affected. Hopefully, a bit less, but that's for another day. If you like what you see here, please like it, share it, tell your friends about it, because it gives us encouragement to go and do more of it. If you've got a firearms fact that you want us to check or a myth you think needs busting, let us know in the comments and we'll see if we can get onto it. Meanwhile, happy shooting and we'll catch up with you later.